Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about another Jennifer Aniston film. This one was released in 2009, February of 2009, so it's a little over a year old and it's <laughs> he's just not that into you. Now I was, first of all when I bought this I was like, yes, this is going to be great because it's pink. Um, anything pink is great, obviously. Um, but then I watched it and I was like, this is a little weird. Um, I always check the director and things first of all before I watch a film so I know sort of what I'm getting into and this was, um, I can't remember the name of the director, it's Ken somebody, I'll put it in the below bar but my memory is appalling and he directed things like um, Malcolm in the Middle, ER, The Office, um, generally high profile programs and shows and things so it was definitely something I was looking forward to, I was like yeah this will be great but then I noticed, it also won an award as well, I noticed it won um, a film music award in 2009 which was quite interesting but then I noticed that this is, you could see straight away there's a very large cast and um, you might have, if you've seen my other, my latest Jennifer Aniston review which um, was posted last week I think, I did say that there was like five central characters, six central characters even and there was just too much. Now if you look at that there's a lot more than six, I mean, you've got all this apparently so called star studded cast along there even though I've never heard of half of them. Um, but then you do have Jennifer as you can see there. So I was like, okay, Jennifer's in it, I'll try it. But Jennifer isn't the leading lady. There isn't a leading lady. They're all sort of important in their own ways. But it turns out that Jennifer is the one who's in at least, which is extremely, extremely annoying. Um, I was looking forward to it. Of course I was, because anything with Jennifer is always going to be great. But then I watched it and I was like, this is just weird. It was all right. It's a good film. I will not deny that. It is a good film. But there's too much going on because you've got... Basically, and this is the only way to describe it, you've got, she's having an affair with him, but he was having an affair with her while married to her. So he, she's having two affairs, and then she's trying to go out with him, but then he's not interested until the end. Um, which is very, very weird. Um, so it's like so much is happening, and there's just too much characters, too much stories. And they do kind of intertwine slightly. Um, like, for example... I, um, I can't remember any of their names because there's so many characters. That's it, you know, you don't know the names. For the first half of it, I didn't know anybody's name. And then you, you know, then I know Gigi's name. That's the only name I can remember. I think it's somebody called Connor as well. Um, I'm trying to remember Je Jennifer's character. I don't know if it tells you on the back. Um, no, it doesn't, which is annoying. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's Jennifer's character as well, who I can't remember. Um, but Jennifer's character um, is the best. Obviously, I'm biased, but she is. Um, but it is a nice film if you can handle it. I wouldn't watch it again unless I was like somebody else wanted to watch it. But if I was just sitting on my own and I wanted to watch a film, I wouldn't choose this one. If you're a Jennifer Aniston fan, by all means watch it because you just you need to see everything she's in. It's just like a law. But um, if you're not a Jennifer Aniston fan or not a fan of any other cast, there's Jennifer Connelly, Kevin Connelly, Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Goodwin, Scarlett Johansson. Justin Long, Drew Barrymore, Jennifer Aniston, Ben Affleck. That's the main cast members, plus there's others. So if you're not a fan of any of them and you're not a fan of Jennifer, um, as I said, it's probably not worth watching because it is hard to understand. The story itself is simple, you know, he's having an affair, she's having an affair. She wants to get married, he doesn't. It's The, the, the plot is basic, but there's like six or seven small plots all together and it's just so, so confusing at times. Um, like I said, it is a good film. The idea behind it is nice. And basically, the moral of the story is men are pigs. That is essentially the story. Um, it, it, it highlights all the things men do or say, which proves to women that they just couldn't give a toss. Which is nice um, for us. Not necessarily for the men, because it's getting rid of all their secrets. Um, but there's just too much going on. Maybe if there was two central characters, three at a stretch, it would be good. But there's just so much, so it's not for me as far as the amount of cast goes. Um, the, the cast is all brilliant, you know, they're all great actors and things, but there's too much of them. It seems that, he also seems to pay too much attention to the cast they were bringing in and not enough to the development of the story, um, which is a shame. But buy it if you're a Jennifer fan. It's going to cost you around about six, seven pounds, give or take, where you get it from. I think I got mine from eBay for about fiver, which is a good thing because some of them were like 30 and some were like a fiver, so I was like, well, that's fine. But you can get it from HMV and things. It is widely available. Um, feel free to leave comments and things with your thoughts on that. I'd love to know if you like it. Let me know if you really, really like it. Maybe you do. Um, and also let me know if you bought it as well. I'd love to know anybody else who has it. But that's all I want to say on that. So it's He's Just Not That Into You, 2009 film um, with Jennifer Aniston. 
an okay film, but not one that's perfect. It is a 12, so it's not for anybody younger. Um, but feel free to leave comments and video responses with your thoughts on this. And please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.